We've had about a dozen dead whales in the last two months, which is about twice the average for a year. We've been investigating each one as it washes up. We'll go out and try and do a full necropsy if possible to determine the cause of death. And so far this year, we've seen lots of different causes of deaths from a variety of different species all along the coast between Santa Cruz and Mendocino County. We think it has to do with the ocean conditions. There's a big warm spot outside in the ocean. There's very little upwelling, cold water upwelling, and we're in an El Nino year. So the whales are all on their normal migration, um, but we think that the winds and the currents are pushing the carcasses to shore. Usually we have a lot of nice cold water off of the California coast bringing all the nutrients up, but that's been very limited this year to an area very close to the coast. Last fall, we saw a lot of Cassin's auklets, an enormous number of those washing up dead. That was determined to be starvation, so they were not finding enough food these small seabirds that eat krill, the same thing that the whales eat. Then there were a lot of young California sea lions whose mothers couldn't find enough food to support them, so they were washing up, mostly alive, on the coast. And then more recently, we've seen these small Guadalupe fur seals, which is a threatened species, washing up along our coast, some alive and some dead. Same situation where they're coming up north and they're not finding enough food. We just passed through the peak of migration, so hopefully it'll be slowing down a little bit.